Hiking is happiness at 60. So we are at the Pole Creek Trailhead. We are not alone. And we're going to hike up to Camp Lake, which is in between, right at the base of South Sister, and in between South Sister and Middle Sister. So we've got our Forest Service Pass already taken care of. That's on the car. We buy an annual one, of course. We have our trail permit squared away. And it's already in the box. We've got our permit that we're carrying with. So here we are. We're excited. Seven mile, 1800 feet elevation up to camp. We're gonna spend uh, four days. So it's a good hike, it's a good camp. Pole Creek Trail. Ah, Chambers Lakes, six and three quarter miles. Oh, so there we go. We just gained a quarter of a mile that we don't have to hike. So that's good. All right, come with us. We're on our way up. Come with. Enjoy. We will. We're hiking through the Pole Creek Burn. We just met a really wonderful young couple and one of their one of a, their father was with and they were just coming out from hiking all the way around the sisters. Four days, three nights. They were the nicest people. And uh, we told them about hiking his happiness at 60 and the father was 62. So he said he understood where we're coming from when it is so important that people our age get out and do these kind of things. It's not impossible. So we uh, really encourage you to get out, find your way, find friends, find support groups that will help you get out and enjoy. Have one trip, a hundred trips. Do it as much as possible. That's our, that's our contention. So that hill that you see with the red top, that's right at the base of Matthews Lake. We were there two weeks ago. You can see Mount Washington. Oh, Black Butte's kind of hard. Jefferson, you see Jefferson. Of course, here we go. North Sister and Middle Sister. So the trail has been in this Pole Creek Burn and it's going to be this way for a couple miles. Uh, I can't remember exactly. I'll put a, uh, uh, I'll find out. I'll put a, a little note on the video of how old this is, the uh, Pole Creek Burn. But I remember I was out hiking and it started and the sky was just black. So, wasn't that long ago. But it makes such a huge difference. It's so much warmer in here without the canopy. Every time there's a little shade like this, we stop and just enjoy the shade because it's markedly uh, cooler. Anyway, thanks for coming with us. Thanks for sharing this. This is good time. Lots of fun. We are at a juncture, Green Lake Trail. 
and Pole Creek Trailhead. Still in the burn. Kind of fun when you get to a uh, intersection. <laughs> you know, there's like a sense of accomplishment. You've got to your first intersection. So here we are at this one. And we're going to continue another, basically, I think about a half a mile down to our next intersection, which will take us up to Chambers Lake. So directly ahead of us is Broken Top, a volcano that didn't make out too good during the last ice age. <laughs> it pretty much got its top broken. Uh, through the trees, you can see South Sister. That's basically where we're headed. Middle sister, North sister. It's a beautiful day. I think maybe around 70. Really nice. Haven't seen any other hikers besides the first group that we ran into of really nice people. So here we are. Here we are. Green Lake Trail up in the Sisters. Uh, we're pretty close to our next intersection, but we've got a really great view that we'd like to share with you. Okay. Check this out. Broken Top. South Sister. Middle Sister behind those trees. North Sister. How cool is this? It's, it's really the perfect time to be up here. Clear, it's not too hot. I think, Susan, do you hear water? I think we hear water. How cool. Yes, we do. So we'll be able to fill up our tummies full of water. And then we start the, uh, we're, st we're going up to that saddle in between the two mountains. That's where we're gonna spend the 4th uh, of July holiday. So come on with us, come with us and let's, uh, let's spend some time together up here in the Sisters and enjoy this beautiful place with beautiful weather. Thank you, thank you for joining us. If you think about it uh, and you enjoy our video, would you share with your friends? Share and uh, give us a like. We we would like that. And uh, subscribe to our channel because again, we're committed to getting out here and and bringing you with us and showing you what this is all about. We're going to Iceland in less than I think it's 21 days. 20, 20 some odd days and we're going to have a whole different series on Iceland that we'd like you to bring you with because it's it's pretty amazing I have been there so let's go Green Lake Trail. That's where we just came in from. And we're headed to Camp Lake Trail. I sure am glad somebody decided to leave a beer can here. We'll pick that up on the way back. Yeah, it's a little oasis here. Little oasis. 
of water. We've got a few spots where we can get water on the way up, so we'll just drink up and off we go. Well, we are getting close to well, hiking out of the burn. Again, it was a long one. Um, I'd say close to three and a half miles we hiked through the burn. And here we go, finally, into this part of the forest that hasn't gone through forest fire. The temperature difference is dramatic. So much cooler. And this would give you some idea of what this hike was like before the burn. Oh, here we go. I mean, there's 10 degrees right there. Cooler. It'll be a long time before the last three and a half miles will look like this again. This fire was started by lightning. Uh, I don't know. Maybe five or seven years ago. So it's just at the beginning of its recovery. But we're getting close to halfway to where we're going to end up at Camp Lake. It's a seven mile hike. So we should be closing in on halfway here pretty quick. Well, hiking is happiness, fans. We've come across this beautiful little uh, creek here. And I think it's so interesting that that log got wedged in here in between that rock and that tree way back when and all this soil has built up behind it and it's been like that for a long time this is uh, a little stream crossing uh let's see we're probably a mile and three quarters from our where we're going to end up I'm guessing it's been a while since I've been through here but it's just amazing how all this material is trapped behind that log in this beautiful little stream sure we've got a few more picked up a few more mosquitoes during our little stop here but talk about nice look at that isn't that beautiful? A little stream making its way down. So I'll see if I can't get you across the stream here without getting too wet. Yep, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, just a beautiful little stream. Let's see how Susan makes out. I keep trying to teach the three points at any given time down. Two poles and a foot, two feet and a pole. Always have three. Oh, look at her. She's doing really well. Good girl, good girl. Look at her go. Well done, Susan. I made it. Textbook. I made it. Well done. We were watching you. Play for a little stream. Much cooler here too. Very nice.
this big flat rock I was standing on. It's about 16 inches thick. Just about flat as a piece of paper. <laughs> Can you imagine that coming down the hill? They get out of the way. Look at the layers. Oh my gosh. Layer upon layer. Isn't that cool? Hiking is happiness, fans. This is a really special place. We're on our way up to Camp Lake. And all these rocks you see here were placed here by water when this stream was running very fast, very high. And proof of that sits right here. Is this amazing? That big rock and little rock had to be placed at the exact same moment for them to stay. One could not have been there long, you know, before the other. Simultaneously. And you can see this tree has taken some pretty good hits. See that rock jumbled up in there? These rocks pushed up here. This is all from this stream. So if you can imagine, I mean, that stream is probably 20 feet below me. So this little valley filled with water, flowing over the top here, pushing these rocks, all of this would be filled with water. So it would come over that little cataract right there. And just be a boil of water coming up. Tore a branch right off of that. See all those rocks piled up there? That's all piled from the water. Look at these trees. Every one of them's hit with rocks, damaged. So that water would come down this and get a, quite a head of steam. It would go over that drop and it would just be forced up and flow up top over here and then down it would go. Look at every one of these trees has been hit, every one. I find that amazing, see? Trees damaged by rocks. Nature. Big rocks that the water placed up on that little ledge and they couldn't go beyond. Is that cool or what? Middle sister. We're about two miles from uh, where we're going to call home for four days. Come with us. Susan's just not quite comfortable. Over here, Susan. There you go. She gets her her feet kind of tangled up. Good job. Later. Good job. Hiking is happiness, fans. Here we are. We're getting awfully close to Camp Lake. Look at those clouds. It's just kind of passing over North Sister. A lot of snow up here.
Cell sister. Well, hiking is happiness, fans. We made it to Camp Lake. And boy, is it beautiful. We are now looking, there's our, there's our people. We are looking for a campsite now. Look at the snow underneath the water. That water is cold. There's no doubt about it. Pretty amazing.